Yer, this is Perp, back with another video, and I just got done checking out episode 3 of Candy. It's a mini-series on Hulu. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, yeah, man, I'm liking it. So let's get right into this. So this episode was interesting because, you know, this all revolves around Alan and Candy, you know, having their affair. And she even goes as far as having uh, a whole kind of checklist going on here and I, I found that to be pretty f funny like just her breaking down the whys and why nots and stuff like that and three of those why nots are fear of getting caught danger of uh feelings and guilt <laughs> really interesting so it gets to a point where alan kind of agrees to do this with candy he kind of has a brief moment of hesitation where he gets at the hotel, but ends up going in there, you know, Candy really hooks it up. She makes like this whole full course meal, getting ready. He's obviously nervous, but they end up getting it done. Now, the one thing that did kind of annoy me throughout this episode that was kind of weird, but I understand like if you really pay attention to it, is the timestamps. They kept saying like two months early two months later two months earlier and it was like it was kind of getting a little confusing but candy pretty much lets her know, uh, her friend know um uh cheryl she seems like to be the the big mouth of the whole group and stuff but she decides to tell her out of all people that she's having an affair and she seems all right with it it's it's, it's really weird but you know she, she obviously is not going to tell the name because she doesn't want her going around blabbing. But the problem is with Candy and Alan kind of having their affair, it's making Candy kind of get closer to Betty as like a friend, which starts to bleed into their marriage where, you know, Betty wants to kind of spice things up with Alan. Then it gets to a point where Betty uh, gets confronted by two people that go to the church and says like, why don't you do this thing that we did called, uh, I think it was like marriage encounter. It's kind of like marriage counseling to kind of help with their relationship. Then Candy kind of reveals to Alan that she's starting to have feelings. She's breaking her own rules. And Alan's also starting to have feelings. And you can kind of see where this is going and where Candy starts to kind of lose her mind, where she really likes Alan and I think it's going to start to eat up at her when we get to see episode four and five. I don't know how they're going to wrap everything up in these last two episodes. They could fumble the ball and it can, it probably won't make any sense, but I kind of like the way that they're pacing this, even though this episode to me wasn't as good as the previous episode, but it just pushes the plot forward and keeps me interested on what's going to happen next so betty kind of brings up this idea to alan and saying like yo why don't we do this and this is interesting because at this marriage encounter thing they pretty much um pr they pretty much like say let everything out nothing leaves this room this is the best way for you guys to kind of fix your marriage let all your uh, skeletons out of your closet, pretty much. And things start to get really weird between Candy and Alan. You know, they're not as close. He's not showing up as much. She uh, is in the belief that Betty probably knows that she started to pick up on it. Um, People are starting to kind of embrace uh, Betty more, especially through this whole baby shower, because this was Candy's idea. And it was just like, I think this was a mistake by Candy. I feel like th this was problematic, which makes Alan call everything off and stop seeing um, Candy. And you could tell that Candy feels some type of way. You know, she really liked Alan, but they have to kind of be adults about it. She is clearly, you know, not all right with this. She, she feels some type of way. She even goes as far as to stop talking to Betty. Betty thinks that she did something wrong. And she has her kind of own way of coping with things. So while the kids and 
Pat are just having a good time. She goes out and has her own good time. She gets her little freaking dress on, goes out with Shirley and starts to dance. And, you know, she obviously is just kind of looking for that relief. And it start, you can start to see it's eating up at her. And I like the use of red throughout this part of the episode. Also, it was really weird that Betty gets a phone call. It was just like one ring. And I'm wondering if that was Candy. You know what I'm saying? And she's starting to kind of slip up. So the episode ends with us seeing that bloody axe. And I wonder if the next episode is where we're going to kind of see what happens exactly to Betty before we get to the trial. I think the trial is going to be the last episode. And maybe when we get the trial, we'll probably see flash forwards and uh, flashbacks to what exactly happened. Because my prediction is... Candy is going to straight up tell Betty that, you know, she's been messing around with Alan and they're going to get into a little um, scuffle. Because if you remember the first episode, she had a nice little gash. So definitely Betty put up a fight. We don't know exactly what happened or just, you know, who said what to who, you know, but it's very interesting to kind of see this build up. Episode three was solid. How do y'all feel about it so far? Three episodes in. Is this your favorite episode so far? Or did you like the previous episodes? Was this the weakest one for you? Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below. I will see y'all in the next uh, episode review. Till next time, I'm out.